I hear in the now you try, we already have a fraction over a fraction. So all I have to do is multiply by the reciprocal because we can't divide by fractions. So I take the first one, I leave it the way it is, I change it to multiplication, and I flip the second one. There's nothing I can simplify here, so all we're going to do is multiply across. We know x minus 7 go together. So we multiply across, we get the x and the x minus 7. On the bottom, we have the 6 and x plus 5. Sometimes they multiply it out, um, distribute it out, but in this case they don't by just looking at the answers. So here we have x, x minus, which is choice D. Okay, number 2 here. It's a little harder because I don't have just a fraction over a fraction. What I need to do is get it that way. So I need to find a common denominator here. So the, my common denominator would be 7x minus 1. Okay, and this first one, they already had the 7x minus 1, so I'm going to leave it. I don't have to do anything to the top. This one, it was missing it. So I need to multiply that by 7x minus 1. So 8 times 7x is 56x, 8 times negative, or 1 is an 8. Now that I have a common denominator, I can combine it to make one fraction. So I get 8, now we need to remember to distribute that, minus 56x plus 8. Okay, so really I have 8 and 8, I get 16. I still have minus 56x all over 7x minus 1. So that's my top. This bottom one, I need to do the same thing. So I need to find a common denominator, which is the 7x minus 1. Okay, this already had the 7x minus 1, so I don't have to do anything to that 8. This one, it was missing it, so I need to multiply it by 7x minus 1. 8 times 7x is 56x. 8 times negative 1 is a negative 8. Okay, then now that they have the same common denominator, I can combine them. So I get 8 plus 56x minus 8. And then I can simplify a positive 8. Negative 8 gives me 56x over 7x minus 1. So now I have my fraction 56x over 7x minus 1. Therefore, now that I have a fraction over a fraction, I can multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm taking the first fraction, 16 minus 56x over 7x minus 1. I'm multiplying by the reciprocal, so I need to flip the second one, 7x minus 1 over 56x. Okay, then I can um, simplify. I have a 7x minus 1 here, 7x minus 1 here. And then I'm left with 16 minus 56x all over 56x. But I'm not done because I can still simplify here. I have, I can pull out this 8. I have 8 times 2 minus 7x over 56x. Okay, then 8 goes into 8 once, 8 goes into 56 7 times. So my final answer is 2 minus 7x over 7x, which is choice D.